I'll tell you what, I'm not the only one here with a clean car today. Look at this truck. Man, this thing is clean. Almost as clean as X. What's up guys? Welcome to Extreme Jelly Drivers. We are always balling on a budget and wrenching in our garage. Today we are at the junkyard. That's right, man. Back. This is my first time at this junkyard. It's in Daytona. And uh, the reason we're here is they have six, six Gen 1 XBs, man. So I am super excited. Hopefully we can find some good stuff. And, uh, you know, they don't have any preludes here, of course. They never do. Um, they do have a couple of Lexuses, though, too. So I want to check those out as well. My wife's uh, power door lock actuator is acting up on her driver's side. So maybe we can get a replacement. We'll see. So I thought going to the junkyard would be a great way to self-distance. It's nice to get out and do something. How are you guys handling all this? Go ahead and comment below. Um, it's actually pretty cool, man, because you get to work on the car. Don't really have any plans. So, you know, I'm not hating on it too much. I'm trying to make the best of it, you know what I mean? But hey, we're getting close. Imports. Here we go, our first one, 2005. All right, that's not us. We're really looking for front end stuff, man. Front end pieces are what we're after. And this guy is all ripped apart. Not too shabby. Look at these wheels. I wouldn't mind getting a set of those. These are, uh, I believe these were some OEM end keys that you could order when you got your XB. Comment below if I'm wrong about that, but I think they are. So yeah, I found I found some more wheels here, but I think we got a serious issue right there, huh? That That's gonna be the end of that guy All right, we've got a rear bumper cover Door panel. I don't know why someone pulled that door panel out, but whatever. I guess they're after something interior Not bad You know what, I could actually really use a new glove box. Mine's all scratched up. You know what? This guy just needs to be clean. That's not scratched up at all. I think we're gonna take this guy. All right, so first XB, I've decided that I am going to take the glove box. It's in really good shape, it just needs to be cleaned up. But I'm not gonna carry it around right now. So it's gonna stay inside the vehicle until I'm ready to leave. All right, so one XB down, we got allegedly five more. I see one up here on the left. This one is silver. And let's see what we got. X to the B. What you doing, X? All beat up. What's going on inside, X? Oh, auto. Ooh, look at this. Look at the pedals. Those were made by, uh, what was it, TYC or something like that? Yeah, they were an actual dealer option and back in the day. Unfortunately, this is an automatic. It's going to be another 2006. Tell about the steering wheel. Um, 2006.5, I should say. But uh, not but too shabby. Dude, check that out. You got a drop down DVD. Why are the door panels always on the ground? Somebody pulled the window out? Why would they do that? They pull it out and just leave it here. It's like a lot of work, man. I guess they just left it for someone else. Check it out. Oh, look at us. Nice. It's right out of Pimp My Ride. Oh, this is the lamb box. Damn, boy, it's the lamb box. All right. Lamb box has seen better days. It does have tail lights, though. OEM tail lights to be in good shape. I think that other one might have a crack in it though now that I'm looking at this one. Yeah, this is a crack right there. It sure looks like one. What do you guys think? Comment below. We're gonna move on from the lamb box. Although you know what we need to look under the hood. Yep. A bunch of stock stuff although I don't know what all those wires are right there that's not stock 
Are those LEDs underneath the car? Because there are four of them. It's a really bad install spot if that's what it is. Let's take a look. Your boy was right. Look at these LEDs. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like the worst install ever. Wow. Alright, there's nothing here for us. Except a bunch of laughs. So, we're moving on, and right across the way here, look what we got. Another box. This is box number three. What does it have for us? Anything. Please, a front end. Oh, my goodness. I see an OEM lip. I see an OEM lip. Oh, my goodness. We are taking that. Absolutely. I'm stoked. Man, I'm super excited about this. I mean, these lips are really hard to find because for whatever reason, when people crash their XB, it's usually into something. So, um, very excited that this previous owner did not crash into something. Looks like they were just rear-ended. So, what well, probably wasn't even their fault. Um, but yeah, this is awesome. This is awesome. Obviously, it's the wrong color, but we're gonna paint it, so that doesn't matter. All right, so now that we're really looking at it, it does have some damage. All right, um, we got something going on there. Deep gouge there. This guy we're taking, because I don't have that either. Um, but I can think this can be salvaged, man. I mean, how much am I gonna get this for today? 20 bucks? These things new are like 275. So uh, we're definitely gonna take this and if I need Randy's help, I'll get Randy's help. But we're gonna repair that and respray it, man. And this thing, oh man, I'm excited. So before I even get a chance to take this off, I'm shocked to find out there's an XB right here. Freaking XBs everywhere. I was using this to lay on the ground. And looky here, we got a bumper off on this one too. What do we got, what do we got? Broken glass. Jeez. I'll tell you what, that's not a bad looking bumper cover. I mean, obviously it needs to be repainted, but it's not bad at all. Man, makes me want to grab all this stuff. All right, so this is a, uh, hey look, a Honda Pilot Hatch. This is XB. Oh, that's heavy. The number uh, four? Yeah, uh oh. XB number four, another rear ender. Good for this driver. Probably wasn't their fault. Hatch, hatch took a hit though. Yeah, a little bit. Hmm, man, interior is nice. Jeez. I'll tell you what guys, if you are thinking about getting an XB, and cleaning it up and fixing it up you you should totally do it I mean I mean look at these parts look at the interior of this XB that is in the junkyard it's in the junkyard is your driver's side rear that clean mine isn't look at the back of the seat it's perfect yeah they're faded they're super faded but I mean other than that they're in really good shape oh, we got the jack too Yep. Another 2006.5. I mean, look at this. Has anyone ever touched that? This thing's in the junkyard. The door panel looks super good, too. I don't think anyone's ever taken this vapor barrier off. Somebody wanted some switches, but look how clean and nice that is. Really nice. All right, so another thing that my car needs is an actuator for the driver's side door. So for whatever reason, when it gets really hot outside and I go to unlock my car, the driver's side does not want to unlock. It refuses. So it looks like it's just a couple bolts and I could pop that guy right off of there. All right, so it turns out the actuator is more than just three 10 millimeter bolts. You see it in there. These have to come off too. And I didn't bring a Torx wrench because I'm a moron. So that's gotta stay. But all right, lesson learned. 
There'll be a future video, you know that, because I know this is a common problem with a lot of cars. All right, man, we are through four XBs. We got our lip, super excited about that, and uh, that glove box. So um, let's keep it moving. Let's see what else we can grab out of the last two. XB number five. Another front end collision. Come on, man. <sighs> yeah, sucks. What we got in here? Oh, airbag went off. Hope everyone was all right. Yep, this thing's pretty tore up from the floor up. Yeah. Eh, yeah, not much here we can really get. So I found this. 2000 Toyota Celica and one of the future mods I want to do for the box is swapping the steering wheel out for one of these Unfortunately every time I find one it is so beat up. I mean dude, what are you doing to your steering wheel? What the heck is going on here? Anyway with the little modification you can get this and the airbag to work with our cars, so That's something I want to work on in the future and uh Look forward to that video coming at some point. The DC Integra four door. I mean, I don't know why you would throw everything inside the car like this, but whatever. Somebody like took it apart and threw it in here. Yep. As you can imagine, it's a total disaster. Engine's missing. Hey. It's like the power steering rack is still there. So if Mark from Honda Street Garage still needs one, I'll let him know where it is. So every time I come to a junkyard, I find one of these and it's almost always on an end row. Aside from being filthy, this car looks brand new. I'm like, why is it here? These wheels have never hit a curb. Why is it here? All right, so somebody's going in here and taking the steering wheel apart. I mean, look at the seats. They're brand new. Absolutely brand new car. But you know why it's here, right? You know why. <laughs> That's why it's here. All right, guys, I found the sixth XB. It was white, which, you know, I started to believe that no one crashes white XBs because, uh, I can never find one in the junkyard. However, somebody was pulling the engine on it, so I let them be, and uh, quite honestly, the thing was a mess. So there was nothing there for me to grab anyway. But I'm extremely happy with what we did grab today. We got ourselves the lip, and I'm about to grab that glove box that I stashed earlier. So overall, great day at the junkyard, man. Great day at the yard. All right, guys, we made it back. Lip. Ignore the door panel. I bought this previously to replace that door panel because previous owner shenanigans. I don't know what this happened here, but it bothered me. So door panels are cheap when you get them from the junkyard. And uh, we got our glove box, which let me show you my current glove box situation. Yeah, it's just all beat up and scratched up. This looks like crap. So that'll be a nice replacement. Show you why I'm so concerned about the front end and fixing the lip, right? So I don't know if this shows up in pictures or if you've guys seen it online, but this front lip is a disaster. Look at it, it's like torn off the car practically. So having an OEM one back on there is gonna make a huge change. We're gonna get rid of those fog lights. We're gonna put in some OEM fog lights and uh, yeah, the whole front end is gonna get repainted some way or another. These grills are getting out of here too. These old stupid grills, previous owner put in. We're gonna go OEM on the grills. So the front end is really gonna clean its act up. Just take a second though and just appreciate this 14 year old car. I mean, dude, it looks sick. It looks awesome. It's covered in dust right now from being here at this junkyard. But dude, this car looks awesome. Love this thing. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up here. Please hit that like button, please subscribe. Go ahead and comment below. Uh, what do you guys think of the XB content, man? I'm going to be doing one a week, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss this stuff. 
because it's awesome. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.